For Perry High School, it's not how you start, but how you finish. After starting the year 0-3, the Commodores have won seven in a row and earned a spot in the postseason. Well, we responded positive. I mean, coming out 0-3, it was tough, but we put the work in and turned the season around. You know, losing three in a row was very hurtful, but, you know, we bounced back and we just take it, took it one game at a time and we never stopped fighting, and that's just what we thought about was take it one week at a time. Don't worry about, you know, the hype of the playoffs. And every game was huge, so... For us to come out there and win seven in a row, you know, that's never been done in school history before. So it was very big. The 38-36 loss to Jefferson served as a moment of truth for the team as they went back to work to save their season. We felt like we had done enough to win that game, but they made a couple more plays at the end and we kind of hurt ourselves. And really on Monday when we came in, we looked at the film and we challenged everybody and said, you know, we did a little bit of too many selfish mistakes there. We had too many fumbles, had the ball on the ground too much. We had too many penalties, and some of them were silly penalties that you don't really need, and they took away touchdowns, they took away big plays. And so we really challenged those guys. We pushed them really hard the next week in practice, and to their credit, you know, they responded really well. It was more of us working with each other, working with some of the younger players, getting them to play their role, and just taking that leader role, getting everybody to play a part. In their second ever playoff appearance, the Commodores look to keep their momentum going versus Cincinnati College Prep. Thanks to their first winning season, their first playoff appearance. They got a quarterback that's one heck of a football player and we're hoping we can contain the him and kind of slow down the rest of their powerful offense. I'm not going to overlook Cincinnati. They're a pretty good team, but I, I think we should beat them, make it to week 12.